talk to you about our 12 inch solar fan, which is uh, about 40 watts of power. Everything you're going to need is coming in your two boxes. The tools you're going to need today is a ladder to get it up in your attic. You're going to need a drill motor and you're going to need a pen to mark your spots with. Okay guys, everything you're going to need is going to come in this one little box right here. When you open the box up, you're going to see two other boxes. This main box is going to be everything that you need for your installation. Inside you're going to find your instructions, your 12 inch attic fan, the wiring harness, and all the hardware that you're going to need. Underneath it, in the other box, is going to be your solar panel that you're going to be installing on your roof. Okay, inside the white box, you're going to open it up. This is your 12 inch fan that you can install in your attic with your clips for installation. We also offer a 16 inch attic fan, same as the 12 inch. Here's your fan, and it comes with the easy to install mounting clips. That you see in front of you, this is our 40 watt solar panel. This is the one that comes with your 12 inch attic fan. It comes with easy quick connect connectors in the back of it, as you can see from the wiring harness. Just slides right in, very easy, very quick. What you see is our 70 watt panel. This is the one you get with the 16 inch fan. Okay, larger solar panel, higher wattage, more power to your attic fan, lasts longer, runs longer. So if you have a larger attic, this is the one you probably want to go with. It also comes with our quick connect fastener in the back with your mounting hardware, same as the 12 inch. Very easy to do. That's why we love these quick connectors. This one already comes with a Z panel bracket already installed. This is your footing for your panel. This is what you're going to use to install it on the roof. Very easy to do. It also comes with all the hardware that you need. Now that you got your posts installed, you're ready to install it in the window. Remember some attic fans are a little wider than most, so you might have to take up the gap with a piece of wood which is what I did right here. Go ahead and center your fan and install it where, with the screws provided. Now remember, you can always take up this extra gap right here with either foam or cardboard and make it more of a snug fit. While we're doing this, remember all your stuff is included, we may as well do your wiring. Your connectors are bullets, okay, they're very easy to do, they're just your typical push in bullet connectors. There you go, all you have to do is finish mounting it. Once you got it connected, we're all ready to run the wires and get it connected to the solar panel on the roof. Okay, now we're installing the last of the Z brackets on the solar panel. You want to get it high and tight, once you got it tight, we're going to take it up on the roof and then we'll be ready to install the wire. As you can see we're ready to install the solar panel. Right here we took the line through the roof. We put some little uh, roof tar so you want to make sure you don't have any leaks. Just go around the wire and then wiggle the wire in and out so it's got enough that's going through the hole. The next thing we're going to do is place our solar panel. And you want it as high up on the roof edge as you can. The reason is you want to catch the late afternoon into the evening for the solar because that's when your attic is going to want to be really cold before you go in tonight lower your cooling costs so you're, so you're going to take a pencil and you're going to mark your z brackets so you know where you're going to install to the roof now when you take it back up you're going to see your brackets and you're going to put a dab of roof tar on it and then you're going to go ahead and install the screws and attach it to the roof. Okay, now that you marked your holes, you're going to get ahead and put a dab of roof tar on it. If you have roof tar coming through all the holes, you know you did it right. Now you're ready to go ahead and install the solar panel with your screw. And there you go. Your solar panel is all secure, your attic fan is working, and you're good to go.